So question number 10. The marks scored by a group of students in a test were recorded as shown in the table below. So we have the row for marks. The marks are grouped. So for example, we have those who scored between 30 and 34, there were 3. 35 to 39, there were 6. Up to 60 to 64, there were 7. Then we have the frequency or the number of students. 3 up to 7 there. The lowest is 3, the highest is 12. On the grid provided and on the same axis, represent the above data using uh, A, histogram, uh, B, a frequency polygon. So we are going to label our graph, our axis, so that we are able to represent the information. And we do that by the horizontal scale we use the class limit. For example, the first group, we have 30 to 34. The limits are 29.5 to 34.5. So those are the limits. So because our data does not start from zero, uh, we put a zigzag line to indicate that to indicate that our data does not start from zero. So we have the zigzag. So here we will start with 29.5. Uh, the next one is 34.5. The third one, uh, this group is 39.5. The next one is 44.5. Uh, the next one is 49.5, 49.5, the next one is 54.5, the other one is six, uh, 59.5, and finally we have 65, 64, not 5. Point five. So this we say these are marked. Then our horizontal, uh, our vertical scale, we will put the frequency. So the first one is we have from three to the lowest is three, the highest is twelve. So we can say this is a uh, two, this is four, this is six, this is eight. This is 10, and then we have 12, and we have 14. Now, we do our histogram. Uh, we can put uh, a line here using a ruler. You can put a line the, uh, the along the horizontal scale and also along the vertical scale so that's our line and uh, we also put another one here to guide us uh, so using Aurora you can do that now we draw the histogram so from 29 so we have 29 to uh, that is 34 to 34, which is between 29.5 to 34.5. Uh, the frequency is 3. So here, 3 is in between 2 and 4. So that is our histogram. The next one is in between is 6. So we draw our, hist uh, our histogram there. So that is our histogram. Then we go to the next one is five. So five is in between four and six. So we that approximately that is where we have five. Then the next one is twelve. So from here we are going to draw our histogram which is uh, 12 
so that is the next one and then the next one is 8 so 8 uh, will be there so that is our histogram uh, then we have the other one is 9 9 is in between 8 and 10 so that is our 9 that is our 9 and then finally we have 7 so 7 is in between 6 and 8 so approximately that's where we have 7 so this is the data represented in histogram so we are through with part A part B uh, the frequency polygon is a line that is drawn touching the midpoints of our class interval so we are going to draw the line so this line uh, we draw it like this uh, so this is our line so that is our line uh, the next one is the middle of the next uh, class so from here we go to that point uh, then the next one will come down to the mid of that class uh, then we have uh, the next one going up and then we have the other one coming down our frequency polygon and then the other one goes up slightly and uh, we have the, the last class and then finally we drop the line back to zero so that is our so this is our frequency polygon and that is how you do that question or you represent the data in the two given ways